Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Monday of the fifth week of Easter. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews together with their leaders to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to the Lyconian cities of Lystra and Derbe to the and to the surrounding countryside, where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra, there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never talked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw that Paul had done what Paul had done, they cried out in Lyconian, The gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes because he was the chief speaker. And the priests of and the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gate for to the gates, for he, together with the people, intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles Barnabas and Paul tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are of the same nature as you, human beings. We proclaim to you good news that you should turn from these idols to the living God, who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go their own ways, yet in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness. For he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, we are, of course, on, uh, on the beginning of Paul's missionary journey, his first missionary journey. He and Barnabas had left Antioch in Syria. <clears throat> they had gone over to the island of uh, Cyprus and <clears throat> went to uh, Salamis and then went to Paphos, and then from Paphos on the island, they sailed up into Asia Minor. And there they went uh, into Pamphylia, uh, to Perga, and then they kept going north into Iconium. And this is where we're picking up the story. They'd been in Iconium and basically uh, had really uh, begun to uh, be persecuted by uh, some Jews who did not believe what Paul and Barnabas were teaching, and so they poisoned the minds of the Gentiles, the way that Luke puts it. And so they poisoned them to also be against Paul and Barnabas. And so they were fearing for their very lives and and ran, left um, uh, Iconium because they were going to be stoned. And they went to the Lyconian cities. They're going a little bit to the east and they went to the Iconian cities of Lystra and Derbe. And, uh, and that area, it's uh, not that far. I think it may be only 50, 50 miles away. But it's a whole different world. And in those days, of course, everything was segmented on the basis of distance because there was no uh, really anything that was a, a way of traveling fast. So uh, they could get away very quickly as they did, and yet enter into another area where they could continue their ministry. So they went to Lystra, and here in Lystra, there was a crippled man. Now, one of the things we know is that this is still an area of Asia Minor that is heavily influenced by by Greek thought, which is uh, to the west of there, but they're very influenced by the Greeks. And so as uh, signs and wonders began to happen when this crippled man was uh, healed and began to walk, uh, the people uh, in the area of Lystra 
were, were amazed and dumbfounded, and they began to uh, default to what they already had known, and that was Greek mythology. The Greek uh, religions were based on uh, a number of gods that existed on Mount Olympus, and they basically were declaring that Paul and Barnabas must be Zeus and Hermes who came down from Mount Olympus and have visited them. And of course, uh, Zeus was the chief of the gods. And they proclaimed that Barnabas was the chief of the gods, mostly, I'm, I'm thinking, because he was very quiet. And he just stayed back and was there and present. And uh, Paul did all the talking. So they basically said that he was Hermes, who is uh, the chief herald of the gods. He is the god who is the chief speaker for the other gods. In Roman mythology, uh, his equivalent would be Mercury. So Hermes uh, was the name given to Paul because he communicated. And there was a priest in the temple of Zeus who was there who was beginning already when he heard about this to make sacrifices to the Roman go- or to the Greek gods for what was taking place. And of course, this really bothered Paul and Barnabas because it took the spotlight off of what was really going on, that this sign, this healing was only to validate, verify, and put the spotlight on the good news that they wanted to provide. And so they they had to try to stop it by again uh, proclaiming that that wasn't what they were all about. They weren't here to be revealed as being gods themselves, but rather as normal human beings that they serve a God who can do even greater things than these idols. And that he said, we proclaim to you good news that you're to re- re- uh, the turn from these idols uh, to the living God. And in other words, he he's trying to shift the focus from these mythological gods, small g, to the very God of the universe, the living God, and his son, Jesus Christ, and the work and power of the Holy Spirit, which brought about this particular miracle. And so this was one of those deals where uh, they were trying desperately to uh, turn the focus back where it needed to be. And again, it was it was not uh, easy for them to do, but I, they finally got to the point where the crowds were restrained from from going back and defaulting to those gods. But there's there's uh, something on the rise. There's problems brewing that uh, are going to uh, basically even take them to a tougher place uh, with the people in the area of Lyconia. So this is again, an opportunity for them to preach the gospel, but they would have been misunderstood. First of all, being thought of as gods themselves. And uh, this then was something they had to try to undo as quickly as they could, that the true and living God might be able to be revealed to them. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, it's good to be with you, and it's it's fun that uh, during the weekdays of uh, Easter, we're back again in the book of Acts and having an opportunity to watch the church come into existence in its earliest days. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.